Hello, hello everyone. You're welcome again uh, to the channel. And uh, in the lesson today, I want to complete the session on uh, uh, the poem, that African poem, The Leaders and the Lead by Professor uh, Niyi Oshundari. So today, in this lesson, we want to look at the themes and the poem, or you call it the messages passed by the poets and the poem. So let's get going and see what the themes are. The first one on the list is leadership, followed by followership, and lastly, a criticism of African leadership and uh, followership. These are the three major themes or messages passed by the poet and the poem. One after the other, let's look at what they are. Leadership. Every group needs a leader or leaders. In the poem, the group is made up of animals. The poetic persona, that is the poet, introduces us to a number of animal leaders. Lion, hyena, giraffe, zebra, elephant, warthog, rhino, and some others. Each has a weak point as a leader. As the reference is made in the poem to the weakness or weaknesses of the leaders in the jungle. The lion has the drawback of his pounds of paws. That is, that ferocious pounce of his paws is alone scary to other animals in the jungle. That the animal lion shouldn't get angry because of the paws. The giraffe is not down to hurt. It always looks up. The zebra has a striped model, which is black and white, on its body, which the animals do not clearly understand, which is called or regarded as confusion construct. The elephant as well is uh, heavy, too heavy and weighty and also frightful, as he trundles about. So this alone is also scary to other animals in the jungle. Not only that, but also Warthog is ugly faced and awful in look. While the rhino is not easy to control because of its riotous status. None of these characteristics can support leadership potentials. Leadership demands a bit of the lion outlook and a bit of the land like character. So two should be seen in a leader. You can be too uh, gentle too or simple and you can be too harsh or strict. You have to balance the equation. That is why the poet protagonist says, that leadership calls for a hybrid of uh, habits. I hope this is clear. That is that about leadership as one of the themes we have in the poem, The Leaders and the Lead. The next one is followership. This theme is a follow up to the first theme, which is leadership. That is, leadership evokes followership. A good leader must have a good followers to succeed. With respect to the poem, there is a critical followership which is why each animal that thrusts itself forward is assessed and its sad feature pointed out as a weakness. It means that the animal followership is aware and conscious. As a result, the followership among the animals knows what it is looking for, led by the forest sage, that is, the only wise animal or character in the jungle. The animal which is the forest sage is not known because it is not stated in the poem. 
So it is not a human being because the proclamation of the forest sage is that our need. That our need shows that the character is not known or the sage is not known. That is the need of animals, not human need. It is the forest sage that recommends a bit of a lion and a bit of a lamb. One suspects that the poet recommends to us as human beings a followership which should look forward to leadership which is tough like a tiger, compassionate like a dove. Like a dove. Furthermore, um, a good leader ought to be a good follower, while a good followership is one in which everyone is mindful of their right to lead. In other words, a follower may be suddenly or may suddenly become a leader and vice versa. If you are, that is, the preachment here is, if you are a good follower, definitely you will make a good leader. I hope this is clear as well. Good. Now to the last uh, point that we have there, which is a criticism of African leadership and followership. How can this be balanced? The events of the poem are relevant to what happens in African leadership and followership. The forest sage seems to be the poet himself, whose recommendation is a hybrid of uh, habits. The poet, that is the poetic persona, might have felt that we are all too interested in politicians or uh, in politics or politicians who possess the faulty features pointed out in the poem. In other words, we are advised not to overlook the antelopes, the impalas, which is of the antelope family, the warthog, the lamb, the doe, and some others. At the moment, Africa thrashes around for a leader or leaders like a snake without head. That is the sole problem we are facing in Africa. We have all it takes. We are endowed by God sufficiently. So for now, Africa is a pack rather than an organized polity where the leadership and followership are still in disarray. In all these modes of leaders, the animals that thrust themselves up to do, I mean, that trust, uh, trust themselves up, do so without nomination. That is, they want themselves to be the leaders of the jungle without anybody nominating them because of their good characters. So the lion stakes his claim. The hyena says he wants the crown. So also giraffe craves for a place and the elephant using his weight trudges into the power tussle. None relies on others nominating or recommending him or her. So this is about the criticism of African leadership and followership. <clears throat> this is the end of today's lesson. Do not forget as usual subscribe, share the channel, share the video, enable your bell for more notification of videos. Thank you as you do so. Always keep safe.